Welcome to the Goldilocks Story of Ecology, Episode S, for Sun. The Sun is a star, our star. That means it is a huge atomic furnace that has many different reactions going on all the time. Mega-size explosions occur every second. Energy and matter are sprayed into space, making the journey to other stars and galaxies. Most importantly for us on planet, we are showered every day with energy coming as light we can see, light waves we cannot see, x-rays, magnetic pulses, and other forms of energy. For this presentation, we need to think about the heat and light that comes through the air to make earth, air, and water warm. Sunlight reacts with water and carbon dioxide in cells of plants to make the food for the plant, with an end product being oxygen. This is called photosynthesis. Photosynthesis started about two and a half billion years ago when bacteria evolved to change sunlight into food. Sugar and starch came from carbon dioxide and sunlight with oxygen being the waste. We observe the power of the sun each day and how its absence at night makes things so different. The sun and earth are always moving. The sun and earth perform a dance that takes a year to perform. Because of the way the earth circles the sun, there are two times a year the center of the earth is in a straight line to the center of the sun. This is called equinox. Two different times a year, the sun and earth are farthest apart. Sunlight is then at its greatest angle to the equator. These times are called the solstice. Here in the north of planet Earth, summer solstice is when we get most of our sun. At the winter solstice, the sun is in the southern hemisphere, so we get the least amount of sunshine. All living things like the just right amount of sunlight. Not too much, not too little. Just right. Think of a bear trying to live on the desert in Ocotillo, California, and a red diamond rattlesnake freezing in the Arctic in the winter. The sun is a very important part of the environment and has a great deal of influence on the other six parts of the environment.